Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. I hope that you'll give a great Iowa welcome and warm welcome to the former First Lady of Minnesota and my two daughters, Anna and Mara. I want to thank you for being here today. Thank you for loving America. Thank you for your patriotism. And thank you to be on this journey for taking back our country from Barack Obama. Thirty years ago, on this very day, August 13th, Ronald Reagan, one of the greatest presidents in the history of our country, signed the Economic Recovery Act into law. It ignited in that time of challenge for our country massive revenue growth, massive job growth, massive economic opportunity for the American people. And as we face similar challenges today, we know what to do, don't we? We know what America needs, but unfortunately, Barack Obama has absolutely no clue. He is like a manure spreader in a windstorm. About four years ago, Barack Obama came through Iowa. He convinced the Democrats of this great state to catapult him towards the White House, and they did. But today's the day that Republicans in Iowa, independents in Iowa, and conservatives all across this country send the message that Barack Obama's got to go. He's been talking a lot about the full faith and credit of America's debt. Barack Obama should put his full faith and credit in the American people. Now, the way forward may not be easy, but it's not complex. As we look over the history of this great nation, we know what works. We can see the lessons of America's greatness and bring them forward to the challenges of our time. And here they are. Let's be a nation that puts its trust in God first and foremost. Number two, we know this, don't we? We can't spend more than we take in. And we also know as we watch him going across the world apologizing for America, denying or ignoring America's exceptionalism, that we need to make sure that the president, and when I'm president, I'll do this, we will maintain the peace by maintaining our strength. Yeah. And we're going to send the message from Iowa here today all across this great country. And it's what we hear as I travel the country from hardworking and concerned Americans who are experiencing the heavy-handed economic uh, results of Barack Obama. The message for him today from us and from all across this country is, Mr. President, get the government off our backs. Let's give him a start on that agenda. First, Mr. President, repeal Obamacare. Number two, Mr. President, please come before the country and tell us why you oppose a constitutional amendment to balance the budget. We want it, and the country deserves it, and you should support it. And I also want to share with you, and many other Republican candidates at this event today and otherwise in the race, they're wonderful people. They've got a great vision for America that they're sharing with you as best they can here today. But I want to share with you one perspective that I think is important. 
in deciding who you're going to support in this race. Many of the Republican candidates for president are going to say many of the same things. They're going to say, look, I'm the one who will cut government spending. They'll say, I'm the one who will reduce taxes. They'll say, I'm the one who will stand for the cause of life. They'll say, I'm the one who will stand for traditional marriage. They'll say, I'm the one who will do health care reform the right way, and so on. But as you know, and as we've seen with Barack Obama, just saying the words isn't enough. He came through Iowa with the great speeches. He came through Iowa with the big rhetoric. But now we know this, don't we? His rhetoric doesn't put gas in our car, does it? No! And Barack Obama's rhetoric doesn't pay our mortgage, does it? No! And Barack Obama's rhetoric doesn't pay our health care premiums, does it? No! And Barack Obama's rhetoric doesn't put our kids through college and pay the tuition, does it? No! And Barack Obama's rhetoric doesn't give us a job, does it? No! Is it time for Barack Obama to go? But for us, too, it's got to be more than words. We got to deliver. And so I stand before you as a candidate who stakes his uh, claim to Iowa and his claim in this race here today in large part on the fact that I don't just talk about it. We get the job done for Minnesota and for America. So if you look at my record, if you look at my record in Minnesota, what you'll see is we took spending from historic highs to historic lows. We cut taxes in my state net over the eight years. We did health care reform the right way. No individual mandates, no government takeovers. We advanced the cause of life in traditional marriage in historic ways. We did public employee pension reform before it was cool and popular to do it in the rest of the country. Those kind of results, not just talk, is what America needs now. And I also want to tell you that doing that in Minnesota is something that's very interesting and important to note. We need to not just preach to the choir and make sure we have a candidate who can win in places like Kansas or you know, Oklahoma or some of the other great states around this country, Alabama and Georgia and the like, wonderful states. We also got to have candidates who can come up into the Midwest and the Great Lakes states in Iowa and Wisconsin and Ohio and Pennsylvania and take the conservative message and get others to join our cause so we can win this election and get this country back. I won, I got elected and re-elected in one of the most difficult political states in the country for a Republican, the state of Minnesota, and I'll carry those states as a candidate for president. Well, look, the way forward may not be easy, but America can overcome challenges, as you well know. Valley Forge wasn't easy. Settling the West wasn't easy. Winning World War II, for sure, wasn't easy. Going to the moon wasn't easy. But this isn't about easy. This is about getting our country back on track. This is the United States of America. We are the American people. The Founding Fathers created it. Ronald Reagan personified it. Abraham Lincoln stood courageously to defend it. And now the call comes to each of us in our time as our country again faces great challenges. This is the greatest nation the world has ever known. If we stand courageously to defend it, if we do everything we can to defeat Barack Obama and get this country back on track, we will have done our duty. We are the American people. It is a government for the people, by the people, of the people. We will remain the greatest nation the world has ever known, and our country will not perish from the earth.
So I want you to do everything you can here in the closing hours of the Ames Straw Poll to get support to my campaign. I want to look you in the eye, each of you in this arena, and tell you, I know what this country needs. I understand our conservative principles. I understand what needs to be done. And I'm not just going to stand up here and give you the words. You can take it to the bank. I will restore America's promise and lead this country to a better, brighter, stronger place. Thank you very much. I appreciate your support.